So first things first, in order to learn, well, we need to pay attention, right? Attention's a really important function. So for example, if I was to ask you to close your eyes and focus on your contact between the feet, your feet and the floor, you'll suddenly be aware of maybe the texture of your socks, maybe how tight your shoes are, maybe how firm the floor is. And you weren't aware of any of that a second ago. And what that means is that we have the ability to choose how much attention we pay to something. And studies have shown that when we are fully focused on a task, we are much more likely to retain that information, especially for the long term. Now, until the last little blip in human history, we have never had to work this hard to pay attention. Like, let's be honest, how many times do you find yourself rereading or replaying something because you got a bit distracted, right? Yeah. We're designed to focus on one thing at a time. There's no secret that the frequent context switching that happens when we use social media, so scrolling through our phones and seeing lots of different bits of completely unrelated bits of information like news, ads, you know, cat videos, that results in experimentally measurable attention deficits. So I'm not saying it causes ADHD, but studies have shown that if you use your phone for more than an hour in teens, that results in these attention deficits. So try and use your phone a little bit less. Now, if you wanted to improve your attention in the long term, there are things like focused attention meditation that you can do to improve that. And if, and if you wanted to improve your attention in the really short term, well, you can actually just exercise. And I know what you're thinking, oh, well, my doctor always says I have to exercise and eat well. But hear me out for a second here. Did you know that exercise can actually increase the size of the part of your brain involved in learning and memory? It also helps you make new brain cells. And studies have shown that regular exercise improves memory, it improves cognition, so your ability to think, and just 20 minutes of moderate exercise, so not even, you know, intense exercise, that will actually improve your attention for about two hours afterwards. So here's what you should do. If you're sitting down to study, go for a jog, you know, um, do some star jumps. It's even better if you challenge your balance. If you're at work, run up and down the stairs. There are lots of things that you can do to make this happen.